Look, turning to uh, Matthew and Stella, who are still with me, um, I'll let you come straight back, Stella, on the... I saw you rolling your eyes about <laughs> Angela Rayner. I thought I was quite fair, because I said, you know, that they, they, haven't done a, they haven't destroyed this evidence because it's Angela Rayner. It's just what they it's do. It's just It's just what they do. It's just better exactly. made that. So, so they were just complying with their own policy. I'm not suggesting one moment they weren't. And, of course, she denies all allegations. But this isn't really going away, this story, is it? Yes, it's not it's not getting away, and the reason why it's not going away is because there are all of these story commentators uh, who are literally trying to revive this completely dead story. You have James Daly, a Tory MP, deputy chairman of the Tory party, being like, but police officers, please, I know you're so well-resourced, you have all of this time, we literally haven't had a single rapist who has been successfully prosecuted in the last I don't know how long, and yet you have them looking at a woman who, how many years ago was it like 10 years ago how, how many years ago was yeah, it it's about 10 years who, 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 who was a single mother before she who, was an mp as well yeah, yeah before she was an mp as well at the same time you have an actually co current to uh, tory mp i mean the whip has been removed from him who has used campaign funds allegedly to, allegedly has used campaign funds funds to pay off some person that he met on tinder who, uh, uh, who I guess, I guess, I guess, it, I guess it may have been grinder, but Matthew, yes, let, me, <laughs> let me bring you in. There, are, there apparently is a difference. I've never been on either, but let me bring you in, Matthew. Look, Andrew Rayner, but I, I appreciate what Stella says, but there are multiple lines of inquiry being pursued yeah. by Greater Manchester Police. Uh, I'm a big fan of Angela Rayner. I say every week, I have a, I have a photo, I have a picture of a poster of her up in my office. The great Angela Rayner. Um, but this is. Keir Starmer said yesterday, I was listening to him in Teesside, he was saying, I want to talk about the local elections, the mayoral elections, your police and crime commission elections, but everyone's asking about Angela Rayner. That, how long can this continue? Well, the answer is as long as the Greater Manchester Police investigation uh, uh, goes on, because now it's out of everybody's hands uh, apart from uh, the police's, because uh, if they decide that they are uh, that they want to bring charges uh, and, go, and a file sent to the Crown Prosecution Service, uh, then that is clearly very difficult for Angela, or they're going to or they're going to say there's nothing to answer here, and nobody, even James Daly, the Tory MP, uh, and her harshest critics can complain because it looks like they've got 12 or 13 detectives uh, on. This, so it's being looked at very thoroughly. Well, so I, I the, the truth of the matter is, it's now the nobody can control it. The, 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 the allegation from James Daly, certainly not in relation to that, is that Greater Manchester Police hadn't properly looked at this. They've gone from one extreme to the I'm other. Sure, I'm sure he will now be relieved that they have thrown the uh, proverbial kitchen sink at this uh, historic investigation. As a Greater Mancunian. <laughs> yeah. You know. A, a lot, whether she's done something right. No, she, 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 she denies everything. No, no, absolutely. But you would have thought the police might have something better to do. You, you know what, what enrages me? You had this other... You had this other... A lot Tory of things, MP Stella. Who, ..who was... A lot of things, <laughs> obviously. Uh, you had this other Tory MP who, 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 who was found to have... Um, uh, sorry, what was the last scandal? I... Uh, William Rag? Yes, William Rag, who who was found. Uh, what did he William Rag was, uh, uh, was Alleg Alleg allegedly, allegedly yes. provided other people's telephone numbers yes. in response to a blackmailer yes. on the same app. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone was so considered and so careful about his mental health, and we need to be kind. And this is so embarrassing for him, and I feel so bad for him. And you have Angela Rayner, who is also a mother. Let's not forget, she has kids as well. Where is the sympathy for Angela Rayner? Well, actually, on Mark, on, 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 Mark, on, Mark Men on Mark Menzies as well, I mean, obviously, look, because of the alleged quotes of bad people, etc., it's going to become the phrase of the year, isn't it? I mean, and they you know, deserve it. But, yeah, they well, do deserve it, but I would actually be worried about his mental health as well at the moment, and I hope he's getting support, even I'm if he's been a complete fool. I'm worried about Angela Rayner's mental health. I'm worried about how strong a woman has to be to reach her level in politics. Literally, a woman can be as smart and successful as Angela Rayner. She can make all of this way that she did all the way from being a working class, uh, single so, mother. So, no, I don't, I'd say, I tell you, I am a big fan of Angela Rayner. She still has to, she still has to obey the law. She will Jay, never, Stella, let me finish. For she will never, she, she will never recover from me saying what a big fan of her. But <laughs> people would, never mind the tax, people, that's the killer blow. would look at her and say, I, I think she is someone who's worthy of admiration in politics. Mm. I do really admire her. Absolutely. I'm not joking, I genuinely admire her. But people would look at her and go, well, look, you have repeatedly call for people to resign over their tax affairs. You've repeatedly called for people to publish their tax mm. returns. You've repeatedly said that people should step down on the basis of similar allegations. So why shouldn't you? What is source for the goose 
is source for the gander, Angela. But do you know how hypocritical it sounds when these literal millionaires who are mates with people who have non-dom yeah. status so and they're okay, getting exactly. out so this of very paying Stella, for thousands so Stella, of It's OK pounds. not to pay your tax No, if you're it's poor. not OK to not pay your tax. But <laughs> well, you know okay, what? So... When there are literal murderers out there, if, like, I did this to murderers? Matthew, I wouldn't what expect the police to come and <laughs> investigate me because maybe behind the scenes I did something more. That's all I'm saying. So, basically, the, the position you are taking is it's OK not to pay your tax if you want No, to that's not what I'm saying. The position I'm taking is you Don't need enough you evidence, <laughs> firstly, and secondly... But that's all people are saying. They're saying, show us the money, baby. That's what they're saying, Jerry Maguire style. On, on financial fraud is being, is being evaporated every year from the government coffers, and we're looking into less than yeah, 2,000 yeah, no, 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 no. You can try and distract as much as you want away from this. I think there are... I, I, I say this to somebody who's a big fan of hers. I think there are legitimate questions, and the quicker Angela Rayner is fully transparent about it, the quicker the story will get away, and we can all get back to talking about... Well, now about it's up to the what, police. What Keir Starmer said in yeah, Teesside. She, she can't have... talk about the local She election. can't publish the documents, etc. now, because it's in the hands of the police, and that would be preemptive. Of course she can do. Why can't she? I mean, because why, it would why be, can't because, she? Because, because it's in the middle of a police inquiry, and well, she's so got to let the police... Mean you can't, she can't undermine the, the inquiry and check. She's not undermining... But I mean, I mean it's, Stella is right. I mean, yesterday we saw that it emerged that one of the Tory donors that the Prime Minister's taken £38,000 worth of private jet flights from has had £12 million of his assets frozen by the High Court in a civil case. I mean, there are much uh, bigger questions than Angela's... a civil case and a criminal case. But, look, before we... I mean, I, lo I, I love talking about Angela Reddy, so I'm a huge fan of hers. And just to be clear, she denies all of Absolutely. these allegations. Uh, and is protesting her innocence repeatedly and vociferously, as she does. Let me just ask you, Matthew, because I did cut you a bit short before Don't the worry. last break. Um, sick note Britain. Yeah. I think this is quite smart politics from the Prime Minister. I hear from Tim Montgomery, people may have stopped listening, but actually... Talking about Conservative politics, this will appeal to Conservative voters. Um, where does the Labour Party go with this? I, I actually saw on the street sort of slight mixed quotes. Uh, the Shadow uh, Work and Pension Secretary say, they're, they're, you know, this is a poor solution to what is a real problem. They weren't supportive. Uh, where does the Labour Party go on this? So, look, I mean, th you said uh, in your introduction on the issue that it was... Uh, you, you thought the, the Tories had talked about it in 2010. Well, of course, welfare to work and getting people uh, off benefits uh, and into, into work, even if they need supporting, it was a big, a big Labour policy. So Labour needs to own this, but the devil's in the detail. And crucially, what we haven't talked about is all the people on NHS waiting lists uh, who are waiting in pain, who can't do the work they want to do because they're waiting for their, uh, their treatment. Maybe they're waiting for their GP to sign off the next-door neighbour.